Welcome to Coin Geek Backstage with me, Stephanie Tower. Today I'm here with the founder and CEO of Transmira, your favorite metaverse person. How are you, Robert? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Stephanie? I'm great. Thank you for asking. So we are in a very exciting time and your company is doing many things. But for those viewers who maybe just seeing you now because you're a familiar face, you're here at Coin Geek, but we have new viewers for sure. What exactly does Transmira do and what is your role there? Okay, so I'm the, the CEO and founder of, of Transmira and we're basically building Omniscape, which is a, uh, a metaverse platform. And we're building it all on Bitcoin SV because it's fast, scalable, and very inexpensive to do transactions on. But what makes this unique is we're blending both augmented reality and virtual reality together and tying it to real world locations. So it's not a social VR game. It's not a, you know, an AR novelty thing. We're literally building the foundations of what the metaverse is and what it's going to be as it evolves and changes the world. And do you call this XR or experiential reality? Yes, so I actually coined the term XR mostly because I got bored of, or I got tired of telling people AR, VR, AR, VR all the time. I just needed something fast. And I think it's a perfect world because you want people to experience the things that we don't actually get to experience physically, but in a digital world. So what's going on right now at Omniscape? We're beginning to, to start rolling out the first bits and pieces. We've got a whole really cool, like a, a virtual real estate sort of platform. We're working on some other things we're calling meta pets. So you'll have little 3D pets and animals follow you around that you can train and do stuff with, which I'm sure kids will love. And those will ultimately evolve into what we call artificial life intelligent agents. So instead of a pet, you'll have another 3D person or avatar that you can say, hey, you know, book me some tickets on a plane or kind of like Amazon Alexa but having an avatar or hologram you can talk to. And then of course, uh, we're about to do some amazing city scale digital twin stuff by the time CES rolls around in January. And you just talk about avatar, and I know you have this avatar registry that I just tried earlier. Can you, okay, describe to our viewers what exactly this is. Yeah, so, so the idea basically started on, you know, when people go into Fortnite or Second Life or a lot of these games, you have an avatar that represents yourself. And that's going to be important and necessary for the metaverse. So we thought, okay, well, what, what can we do that's cool here? But also, your identity is really important. Being able to protect it, privacy, and have it follow you. So we're kind of combining uh, identity on chain, like as, as an NFT, but also tied to it, your 3D representation of yourself, kind of all in one. So we've got some amazing 3D scanning technology, which we just scanned you, which makes a very lifelike avatar. But then we tokenize that, we link your identity to it, and then you're going to be able to see yourself in augmented reality and do some fun things. But you'll also be able to use that to navigate around some of the 3D worlds and stuff at the same time. So It kind of feels like, you know, the movie Ready Player One. Is that it? So do I get to own that avatar for the rest of my life? 100%. It's yours and you can do whatever you want with it. But the other cool thing that we're doing, so not only do you have control over your appearance and your likeness and your avatar, but we're going to make it easy for you to say, hey, I'm fine with other people using it. So if you're, say, a celebrity or a pro athlete, maybe you don't mind somebody paying a buck ninety-five to have your hologram wish them happy birthday. Or maybe uh, you're a creative person, you like to do machinima and games and make your own stuff. You could basically grab the avatars of 10 or 15 famous people, put them in your backyard and have them act out a scene. And then, you know, it's like, but that drives like revenue back to the celebrity or the musician or whatever. So we're trying to think of ways and business models for people to monetize their likeness. I love it because you're not only looking into the entertainment, you know, aspect of it, but also ways to generate revenues for yourself as a content creator and even for businesses. So when is this happening? Has you, have you guys launched this officially? What's going on? Yeah, so we've, we've done a, an unofficial soft launch of a few pieces. We're still kind of like in late beta testing stages, um, but we're going to be rolling stuff out every couple of months, every couple of months, just for now until the end of time. So it's an evolving process, but we've got a really cool detailed roadmap, but we want to do it in layers instead of, you know, hiding for five years and then coming out with something big. So we have the real estate tokens, virtual goods, the meta pets, the avatar, anything else in store that you can share with us now? Um, well, the virtual goods is a good piece we haven't mentioned. So that's kind of basically, instead of you know walking around looking for Pokemon, you'll be able to walk around and find 3D branded things in augmented reality, like, I don't know, a 3D Starbucks coffee cup. You can pick it up, collect it, and then go to the store and exchange it for a real coffee. And being able to link uh, a 3D object to something of real world value, that's huge and amazing. And I think that's the future of you know where the metaverse is going to go. Um, so beyond that, uh, ultimately, I guess we'll get into Skynet and teleportation. Um, <laughs> that's probably what's coming next. So. All right, exciting times for you, and I cannot wait to actually experience everything. So thank you so much, Robert. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. It's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you. 
And that is Robert Rice. I'm Stephanie Tower, Corn Geek Backstage.